Your free news for app, our first alert weather team tracking things around the clock. You get those updates as things change in your area. The company that helped create a fortune for one of the city's most philanthropic families is facing criticism. Former workers for barges owned by the Ingram family filed suit about a week ago in federal court citing inappropriate sexual misconduct and sexual discrimination against women. Now, they're speaking for the first time to our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley, after filing their suit. And Jeremy, it's not just the, those suing who are criticizing the company. Well, that's right, Marius. Fact, several former female workers who worked on the barges have protested outside Ingram's headquarters, the latest protest happening earlier this year. The women say the Ingram family, widely known for its philanthropy and wealth, should be taking a closer look at the workplace culture for women on their barges. It was the Ingram name that first made Terry Christie went to work on the river. The Ingram family is such a highly thought of and uh, philanthropy that I went to work there because I thought what great people they were. But she says the experience of cooking on their barges with all male crews reveal a very different side of the company. Unfortunately, there's a culture of, of uh, extreme sexism, misogyny, that as a woman means that you're going to face abuse, and I did. And she's not alone. Horrifying. That's how Lonnie Stripling, a cook on another barge, describes the rampant sexual harassment she says she faced from the boat's captain. She says she had no choice but to quit. So I know there are women out there who can't go home. And they take the abuse every day. The two, who are sisters working on different barges, are each suing the company in federal court for sexual harassment and hostile work environments, joining other women protesting outside Ingram's headquarters, carrying signs reading, Stop Punishing Female Victims. This is the company policy. This is the company culture. Christie says when she came forward with reports of male crew members threatening and harassing her, she was fired and recorded her termination call. to respond to these allegations, but we were denied, receiving a statement instead, reading in part, rest assured that these claims were thoroughly investigated at the time, and they were raised and found to be untrue. We intend to vigorously defend ourselves against these baseless claims. It's also important to note that these women live on the boats with these crews for weeks at a time, and they said they had other male crew members who were respectful, but others made their lives unbearable. Tracy. Jeremy Finley tonight, thank you. New surveillance video revealed in court.